Hi Duncan. Uh, lovely to see you again. You've been a fantastic customer of ours over the years. We've yeah. been delighted to support you through your Google journey. Tell us a little bit about how you started into, into Google. What sort of led you into it and uh, how, you, how it's kind of grown your journey over the last few years. Yeah, uh, well, it's looking back to 2016-17 when we first mm. got in touch. Um, mm. And it all stemmed from really the laptops that we've been using in school, the Windows one, we had 16 uh, in a trolley that we'd wheel around and they were getting to the end of their life and getting quite tricky to maintain. So we were looking at replacing them um, and as often is the case in schools, it came down to cost really. Um, for 16 laptops I found out that you could end up with 34 Chromebooks from yourselves. Wow. Um, mm. And so that naturally piqued my interest. So I had a little look and thankfully there was another uh, gentleman in the area who used Chromebooks and used Google in his school. So I was able to talk to him a little bit about it, but wanted to find out more. Uh, just went on to the uh, joining Google site, the link that yeah. took, took us to you. Yeah. Uh, and then it was through conversations with yourself really that we uh, decided which way to go, which approach to take, which 34 Chromebooks would go for. Yeah. Um, and then, thankfully, because at that stage, I was quite new to the whole Chromebook thing. I didn't yeah. really know whether they would be the best thing to replace the laptops. I've, my history's always been in Windows, so yeah. you know, that's what I was used mm. to in that yes. sorry way. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but thankfully, through yourselves and uh, your team there, came up, set us all up. And once we were set up, it was really quite easy. I had a full class set for my year sixes at the time, and that meant I could just really get exploring with it and playing with it and using them. Uh, other people did want to use them at times, but because we'd set them up at Firefly's, yeah. everybody had their own usernames, everything was uh, pre-prepared for us. Um, so we could, on the trolley, we could move them around, but a class set, I always thought it was far more useful than just the, the one between the two that you'd end up yeah. arguing over and trying to keep going. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that really impressed when we got going is the fact that the batteries would last all day. One of the key problems with the laptops, uh, when they were getting towards the end of their life, was that they would last an hour, yeah. an hour and a half maybe, and then the updates that come in, that would take up a good hour, and then you'd have half an hour of yeah. usable time. So the Chromebook sort of solved all of those problems. So from a sheer machinery point of view, the Chromebooks just seemed like a, a perfect solution. Yeah, yes. From using those Chromebooks, and that's when you started introducing us to the, the classroom, really, and how that could yeah. be used. Yeah. Um, and so it was just through dialogue, really, and playing and experimenting. Uh, very fortunate to have a supportive team in the school, so we were able to play, try things. The six, the year six children were very keen to, to have a go and be the, uh, the the guinea pigs, as it were. Yeah. Um, but by doing that, the sort of the, the conversation started growing around the school, and then other classes wanted to have a go. They wanted to have access to the yeah. to the uh, the technology, uh, especially when it came to writing things yes. as well. It wasn't just the, the sort of 2010, 14, that sort of time, the yeah. computing was very much this is computing and then this is ICT. Yeah. But we, we were certainly merging at that point. Um, and other classes wanted to get involved and then that meant that a class set wasn't really enough because I wanted to use them all the time in six and the children were very keen to use them and then other people would want to use them. So thankfully through a brilliant PTA and th this is where it gets a bit tricky because I know that the finances is always yeah. the, the limiting factor but yeah. it took a bit of looking around to try and get some grants and PTA support and again thankfully supportive uh, school we were able to get a second class set yeah brilliant and then that allowed the second I kept the first class set and the second class set was sort of shared out between the rest of the school and from then it just grew and that was it once once it was out there people were using it it's so much more reliable than the old window system that we had yes and as soon as you get that reliability in place yeah the, the staff came on board and the right. staff who hated the the fact that the laptops were never ready and mm. hating the fact that the, they would last for 30 minutes and then yeah. everything would be gone and then that yeah. lesson that you planned was wasted. Yeah. Um, yeah. That all disappeared. Yeah. And yeah. once we got the Chromebooks going and it was up and running, um, it was absolutely brilliant. And then it just became a, a case of rolling it down the school. And over the years, um, obviously the, the, the pandemic sort of accelerated the learning. Yes. I got a softly, softly approach with some of the staff who were a bit nervous about new technology, which I totally understand. Uh, but the pandemic sort of forced our hand a little bit on that one. It certainly did. <laughs> but we yes. made the most of uh, any yeah. grants that were out there. And uh, again, the PTA wanted to step in and help. So now at the end, where we're we coming to the end of 2022, we're in a very, I appreciate we're in a very lucky place, but we do have a class set for all of the 
junior classes. Yes. Uh, and that means that the Key Stage 1 classes, when they're doing their digital typing, yeah. um, that particular unit, they're able to use them and we can normally source them. Like, yes. Try and share. Yes, so, that's right. So that's, yeah. that's where we came on with the, the technology side and that's why we sort of ended up where we did. Indeed. Well, I was very impressed. Uh, last time I came in, I was speaking to some of your teachers about lockdown, how it was used. Essentially, the each student that didn't have a device was given one of the school Chromebooks, so they all had a device to access. Uh, you used uh, Google Classroom and Google Meet to carry on teaching and learning. Um, it, it, you know, right through the, the lockdown, there was no children could see the teachers on the video. They could see their classmates. They could they could collaborate with the classmates. They could. They could chat with their classmates. I think you, you had the technology embedded to a certain, to a, a large enough extent that you were able to go into lockdown and uh, just carry on doing the best you could without have the children being able to come into the school. And I think, you know, credit to the school that that's enabled those children to not just carry on learning, but also you. I think you've massively limited the damage that done by lockdown. They're not seeing their classmates, not seeing the teachers. I think it's a, it's, it's a phenomenal thing to see and it was uh, the benefits of this. Now it's even more embedded after, after the lockdown experience uh, to come and walk around the classrooms, to see the children uh, engaged, to see them focused on what they're doing. They've got a device each, um, they're using the tools effectively, There's, mm -hmm. teachers are using different tools within the Google workspace, they're using Jamboard, they're using uh, collaboration on docs and slides. Um, they're using um, feedback from Moat to give them verbal feedback and, and they're listening to that on headphones. It's great to see. They're still writing with pens as well. They're still, they're still looking at other, they're still not, you know, not losing other skills, but their digital skills and speaking to the children, their digital confidence, because they're using these on a daily basis. And, and they're not a gimmick. It's not like, um, it's not like you pull them out and everyone starts getting overexcited and silly because they're used to them every day. They're a tool. It's they're a tool like they're a, a tool. or a pencil. Exactly or right. They also, a lot, of, a lot of the children I spoke to um, have some form of device at home. They can access the Google Classroom from home. They can carry on looking at things. They can do a little bit of homework. They can, uh, again, some said they used it at weekends as well. So Well, we made that decision mm. as a, we know that the children are going to go and speak. Yeah. Uh, they're going to use some device online yeah. to chat with each other and yeah. send messages and things. The beauty of the, the Google system is yeah. that we've got the vault, we've got everything that's ever said and done yes. recorded, yes. Um, and so they are going to make mistakes. Yes. Of course they are. Yes. Uh, but they're making mistakes on a platform that we can help them with. Yes. If they're doing it on a platform that's totally out of our control, yeah. we've got no yeah. nothing that we can do, nothing that we can come back and sort of maybe yeah. turn it into a learning experience. Yes. Whereas the fact that they love doing it still on the classroom, on the uh, the chats, on the meets. Yes. Yes. At least we've got that. Sort you of have. You have. Oh, look. I don't monitor it all the time, and it's you have. Um, but the fact that you've opened it and you've enabled them, but you are looking to see what's going on, so you're identifying if they've misused it or if it's a problem, but you're not just switching it off um, because um, the fact that that was available to them, I think, has been a huge benefit to them during that bleak time. Oh, it was. That's what they yeah. all said. That that classroom was their classroom. It was yeah. on the screen. They could chat with each other yeah. about daft things, but they could chat yeah. going back and forwards. And I think. The naming of Google Classroom is absolutely spot on. It mm. was their classroom, yes. and that's where they would come. Right. And if they needed anything, that's where they would go. Exactly right. Thanks, Duncan. Brilliant.